Welcome, Agwale Okuni is the head of the Secretariat of Nigeria Political Summit Group. Thank you for coming on this morning. It's my pleasure to be here. Uh, what does Political Summit Group do? Well, it's to aggregate um, political thoughts, uh, interest, and position of stakeholders in Nigeria and ensure that we have um, uh, very credible political class. As it, it appears today, we do not even have a political class because the parties are not also functioning very properly yeah. as political parties. And so you must begin to, in trying to develop this place, you must create a foundation. If we don't have a political class or political parties, then what do we have? No, we don't have, in the real sense of it, the functioning, operationalization of political parties. You don't really have it. You just have, uh, political parties is beyond contesting elections. The groom um, successors, the groom cadres, the they educate themselves on manifesto, etc. It's not just having national executive council meeting, etc. They go look at IRI, look at NDI, look at what they do. It's beyond election. So, so you must, you must really, if, if you must drive Nigerian development and democracy, mm -hmm. you must have vehicles that can do that and so properly does, organized. Does the group subscribe to this call for restructuring? Well, change, yes. Continuous, it's, it's a continuum. You must change your structure to be able to ac accommodate new thoughts, new ideas, new interests. And we, we, need to, we need to change this place, governance architecture. Uh, we so really need to what, change What it. does that then mean, restructuring? What does it well, it means that pressure? what we operate now, it's supposed to be federalism, but it is unitarism in, in practice, in reality. And so you have to change that. You have to correct that, but democratically too. You must, I'm talking about process now. You can't just take, government cannot force it. Government cannot or impose this, the new structure. So you must go through what Professor Akinu Ibo, the earlier called the constituent assembly. And it must also go through a referendum. That is why when you can legitimize your restructuring or you can, you must have been seen to, to be democratizing your restructure. So, so the people must own, mm. we are saying, we are talking about democratic ownership. So is the, president, the country is the president by not the right? citizens. Is the president not right when he that, then said that, well, it is the, the National Assembly and the National Council of States that are saddled with that responsibility? Yes, he's, he's right to the extent that they, both of them, he is involved in the National Council of State. He is a member, he's a chairman. So, he, he, I mean, invariably he's saying that he is part of the process for bringing about the change through the National Council and the National Assembly. So it means that the president is going to suggest to the Council of State that, look, there have been agitation, advocacy, etc. Can we deal with this? So he's involved at that level. That's my understanding. And then the National Assembly will also have to do, to do something. They will have to, uh, in any case, by my understanding, amend Section 8 and Section 9 of the, that, of the 1999 Constitution, the military constitution, which forecloses the idea of the people giving themselves a new constitution or referendum. So the people can really take sovereignty over their constitution. That does not exist. It is in, only in Nigeria. And the military, you know, consciously crafted that. I want to believe, maybe, I don't want to believe, maybe they want democracy to fail. So, so what, are the, what are the uh, first steps you think uh, we should be taking as a people? Uh, in our quest for this restructuring agitation? Well, I think that the, the debate should continue, discussion, inter-ethnic discussion, not, not its communication as we would, not bickering. We really need, and, and that is what the Nigerian Political Summit Group is doing. For, for thing, or forging consensus, national, building national consensus on issues of politics. We must do that, the big debate, and then make sure that we aggregate this and end up at a national political summit where we, with the nation, the stakeholders, that from the north, from the, will agree and say, okay, this is the level of restructuring. We must, we must agree on that, we must have that consensus for us to move on and engage government and then educate the masses and even government. Some people don't know. Some people are afraid. When you say so, they are afraid that you want to disengage. And that's why, I mean, some people say, well, the, 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 the unity of Nigeria is not negotiable. No, you must negotiate, continue to negotiate to consolidate the unity of Nigeria. You accept, you discuss it and negotiate it. You cannot sustain 
and consolidate it, the national integration. So there are most, you can't, you can't say, well, it's, no, no, no. But what I, what I think the president was talking about, the indissolubility and indivisibility at the level of government or government leaders in Nigeria, that is settled. But the Nigerian people who are the owners of the country. And so they are saying they want integration. They want unity. We want to discuss our unity and want to discuss. So, so these are two theories. So, and I think pre the government will begin to see the perspective of stakeholders and, and people, uh, uh, leaders um, of the people. Do you think that the, the National Assembly is structured to give out these uh, expectations by Niger the Nigerian people? Well, I, uh, well, it's not about them being structured, but um, if the people mobilize effectively, organize properly,